For millions of artifacts in the Henry Ford's digital collections, our experts choose three and reveal the surprisingly curious connections between them. The 19th century mathematician and physicist James Clerk Maxwell said, to measure is to know. Maxwell thought that in the process of measuring our world, we could know more about it. But what forms can information technologies take that are designed to detect, process, and measure intangible forms of data? This is a radio telemetry device. It can detect data remotely in situations where it is impossible for humans to safely travel. In the mid-1950s, a series of nuclear detonation tests called Operation Teapot took place in the Nevada desert. As remotely controlled aircraft flew close to the explosions, this equipment measured the strength of the bomb's shock waves and transmitted the results to radio operators on the ground. This is a polygraph, better known as a lie detector machine. Polygraphs measure electrical signals from the human body, heart rate, perspiration, and blood pressure, and transform them into ink lines on graph paper. The readouts are interpreted to detect lies and truth in the responses. Today, these machines are considered unreliable, and the results are not always admissible in courts of law. And this flat disk is one of the earliest commercial spy cameras. Dangled like a necklace under a shirt, its lens poked out from a buttonhole, and it would be used to secretly take people's pictures. Surveillance images were collected as raw visual data, evidence to be examined for emerging patterns of people's misbehavior. Not all of these objects were effective, or even ethical. They measure worst-case scenarios. We can presume too much based on their output. But today we embrace detection in our connected lives. We use smart devices to track our steps to a healthy lifestyle. We use cameras to remotely monitor our homes. A black box, a silver suitcase, and an invisible camera. These items, hidden from view, ultimately work in the detection of data, in hopes that in the resulting patterns, we can find some measure of evidence about the world and sometimes ourselves.